I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole gun wall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me, but what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. 
Turn off those floodlights, then grab Mr. Sokolov and whatever else you need. At the arches under Sokolov's apartments, Corvo. That's where I'll be. Curfew means ain't nobody allowed to be just wandering about, except us guards. Yeah, I know, I know. But if we do see someone, then what? Do we say something? Remind them about curfew? No, you don't remind them. You chase them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating is what. Okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly beating. <coughs> Seen any more big rat swarms? Another night, another patrol with you. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Stop Attention all citizens, game. no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Show me a drink. Blow off. 
visitors to our city. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Please, not now. No, oh, no, stupid gut. like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Reach? Is this wrong for him? 
imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine too, until he crosses the wrong man. Probably just a draft. What exactly was that?
Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Charger, and then left for the legal district. Okay, good. We can't lose any more men to the ARC pylons. Touch the Charger before your ship when the duty officer brings it by, and the ARC pylon will fry you. Those things? You give me the willies, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything? We saw the Ark pylons. They're still there.
Show yourself! City Watch, wake up! We've got some low-life breaking curfew. Let's show who owns a bridge. All right, you get off this time. You gotta move up. I know you're here. Devils. 
Confer. The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing the pillars. Just leave the oil tanks be for the night. Why they always gotta put me with you, I just don't know. <laughs> it's nice.
the mask and the hand tattoo. Listen, I ain't no criminal. I just collect river cross pearls. They chase me down, and I had to hide my catch. You help me, and I'll show you where the pearls are. Split them with you. Wait, don't be a fool. We can split the pearls. Whatever you want. They'll kill me. They'll dump me in the water. You need the key to get me out. Yeah, yeah, just look around. It's gotta be here somewhere. I owe you a friend. Just follow me. I'll show you the place. No one saw me drop it. You won't be sorry. We can split them right down the middle. Now I'm out of that cell, I'm feeling myself again. They're doing this more and more. Shaking down honest men for extra coin. What's the mask for? Afraid of plague? I never worked. <laughs>
smelt bones in the pylons, blood beneath the stone locks, and I building a structure. Uh, I just love watching them turn and turn. What, them wheels? Yes, round and around, like the cycle of life. Such a wondrous symbol of the progress we've made in industry and invention. If you say so, sir. And remember, guardsmen, we must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad on your record. Very bad indeed. Should the factory shut down on your watch. <clears throat> yes, sir. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. supposed to be on duty over.
find a way to keep these rats off me so that I can get out.
worry about a couple of disgusting smelly pigs, you know? All pigs get slaughtered sooner or later. Better if I wonder about those sound in the warehouse, right? I mean, <laughs> what was that all? These rats crawling all over everything. <coughs> Still crying about that dice game? I don't need shit from you. The night treats you well, Corvo. I'll be here when you have what you came for. When the plague passes, my hope is that the overseers start up regular services again. I'd like that. It always makes me feel at ease. My brother took to a country girl once and practiced that stuff the overseers are always going on about. She sold charms and the like. My brother talked about her all the time. house was empty, never seen or heard from again.
All these rats crawling all over everything. If you want to gamble on the hounds again, shut up. <laughs> all these rats crawling all over everything. me by all the others down with the sickness
said he's dead. We'll make it three more months. crawling all over everything. Are you out of your bloody mind? did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294.
my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. I see. How are you feeling? Much, much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Hush now. No one's going to die. Much improved. Formula 312. The formula I used is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow we'll make. Remove you from this cell. Late morning, perhaps. But the pain! Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. I can't say I'm surprised. I knew someone would come eventually. But you I expected. There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me in a drink? Sit and talk a while. Come. We'll discuss your future. Money. Women. Whatever you want. There is much to learn from the stars for those fluent in their tongue. 
I could consult my astronomical chart. Is there no reasoning with you? Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. Whatever they are paying you, I will double it, triple it. No? Well, money is not the only thing I have in abundance. Perhaps there are other rewards you seek. I see you are a determined man. Is there nothing I can offer you? Sir? Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the Royal Physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Damn it! Someone help me, damn it! Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. I don't have anything to take. Oh, please, no more. I don't have anything to take. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa has erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic swathing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Many seek the bridge for solace. Rowing men, abandoned women, and plague victims have all left from here. The crushed minerals, the farm animals, the vials of the liquid mysteries. All these, and more, are necessary for his experiments. The air is heavy and stale. Some acrid powder is still lingering in it. Sokolov sees the captain of the helm, and the tusked leviathan. What do you see in stars? My father had golden hair. My mother had hair like ash. I see no bones in the pylons, blood beneath the stone locks. Men die building a structure. Many seek for the bridge for solace. Ruined men, abandoned women, and plague victims have all left from here. Position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off.
things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so.
Seen anybody with signs of the sickness? I don't need shit from you. No, no, stupid goddamn. Dump us somehow. Rolling gun. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt it. What's going on there? <clears throat> I'll find you, you hagfish! I know you're here! I'll find you! You won't stay hidden for long. Set up his cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's done some good in his time. Made that elixir against the plague, he did. Uh, Clever man, Sokolov. Look what it led him to. Uh, tempting surgery with such tools will reveal something. But not what you think. It's. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve.
Now that we have Sokolov as a guest, ask him how he deluded the Academy into making him royal physician. Ask him how he stole my elixir for me. Will you do that for me? Whatever you do, don't trust Sokolov, especially not on the subject of cetacean anatomy. If it weren't for Sokolov, I'd be a senior fellow at the Academy. I will never forget. Could you, as a favor, try and leave him intact for me? There's just a part of his theory on voltaic action I need clarified. I feel a little guilty. Natural philosophy is a bond between men, even men like him. Logic is flawed, anyone can see that. And not an original idea to be heard. His notes are a mess if he even keeps them. How he got this far is anyone's guess. He says what they want. Here, friend of the rich, that's his method. Sokolov's true genius is pampering the aristocracy. Fools. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rag, ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? She still has bad dreams, though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Little Emily. Someday soon an empress, but only an exhausted child at the moment.
Poor girl. She's been through so much. I hate to say it, but we're counting on you to make things better. I'll stay right here, by her side all night. I don't like your eyes. Why are they so black? Stop looking at me. Corvo, please. Must you? Emily needs rest. Let her sleep. The Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton. Who asks for respect during this time of mourning? Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Corvo, can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Yes, Mr. Corvo. I'll make sure your quarters are clean, sir. So much dust. It must blow down from the upper city. They let that Emily run wild. It's not how I do it, if you don't mind my saying. Restless hands do no good, they say. summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure you understand. 
I want you to know I understand your actions with regards to Custis and Morgan. They were horrible men. Lord Pendleton shares little with his brothers, other than name. The stories I could tell you about what my lord's older brothers did to some of the staff, especially the maids. It's beyond my station, but I must say they were beasts, dressed as nobles. Lord Pendleton will return on the morrow. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are required to boil. Any fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must be reported to the watch. We're getting closer to reaching our goals, but our position is becoming more dangerous. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night. And the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but you... Strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title to the Regent and do it properly. Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. Asked, at the moment of her mother's terrible murder, anyone with information leading to the... Give me a length of rope and a bucket of seawater. That's all I need to break a man. Speak to the city wall. The Royal Physician has a subtle mind. He may attempt to trick us. He's only a natural philosopher. How tough could he be? Good work, Corvo. Get some rest and we'll take a crack at him tomorrow. The royal physician is badly shaken up. I'll have the servants see to his new quarters. Take a night's rest, and then you can help interrogate him. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. I wonder what Piero thinks of our guest. Attention, Dunwall. I still wake up thinking I'm in the stocks. Rats, you are warned to stay out of it. The nursemaid Callista is quite fetching, huh? Or maybe I've been in prison too long. I'll sleep like the dead tonight. La di da, di da, di da, la di da, di da, la di da, di da, di da, 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 la di da, da, da. Oh, how do you do, sir? I apologize for my state. I could use a long soak in the bath. So relaxing. What a treat that would be, hmm? You're a bold one, Master Corvo, snatching the royal physician like that. That poor man. I hope you won't be too rough with him. Chapter 41, in which I bed two of the Boyle women and only miss the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked to the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come late with gifts, such that all three boiled women soon took notice. 
and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Found these interruptions. Attention Dunwall citizens, be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by all <laughs> Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve.
Attention Dunwall citizens. Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. <laughs> 